There's a feature that Toolkit RC chargers have had that I have really missed. And I've missed the feature because I'm not actually that big a fan of Toolkit RC chargers. If you look on the desk behind me, you'll see that all of my day-to-day -day chargers are Hoda or Hobbymate brand. I've had really good luck with them for reliability. But Toolkit RC has the continuous work function. And this is really cool if you are charging or discharging a whole bunch of batteries at once. And then the good news is that Hoda and Hobbymate have finally added it. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna show you what the continuous work function is and convince you that it's really awesome and you should want it. And then I'm gonna show you how to get it on your Hobbymate or Hoda chargers. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. In order to demonstrate the continuous work function, let's plug in this battery and let's go ahead and we'll do a storage charge and in order to keep things simple, I'm gonna set the cell voltage pretty close to what the battery's already at. That's not an essential part of this uh, demonstration. I just don't wanna sit here for a while while the charger does its business. So we're gonna go ahead and start the storage cycle. Oh, and immediately it says storage done, it's finished. Uh, and that's great, but I've got a whole lot more batteries that I need to storage charge. That fan's gonna keep doing that, sorry. What you would normally have to do is unplug the battery, plug a new battery in, and go through the menu, clickety, 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 click again and again, which isn't the end of the world, but it's a little annoying. What the continuous work function does is wait for you to plug in another battery. Do you see that it now says standby? It's waiting for me to plug another battery in, and as soon as I plug that next battery in, it will just automatically go ahead and keep doing the same program that I started. So if I've got a lot of batteries to put on storage, just unplug one, plug the next one in, no clicking, no button pressing. If I'm charging a bunch of batteries, the same thing applies. And it's a small thing, but it is really nice. And it's really cool that these chargers finally have it. But in order to get it, you're gonna to need to update your firmware. So here's how to do that. In order to update the firmware, first we've got to download the firmware and we're gonna do that from the Hoda website, link in the video description below, of course. And I'm gonna grab the firmware for the S6. We're gonna download that. And I'm gonna grab the HT loader program, which is what we're gonna to use to actually flash the firmware. Once that's done, I will have these two zip files and I'm just going to extract them into a folder, and then I'm going to go into htloader and run htloader.exe. You have to be comfortable running a exe file that you downloaded from China in order to do this. Your call. Now the loader app says that the order of operations is to hold down the channel button, plug in the controller, and then connect USB. In my experience, that didn't work. What I had to do was first plug in USB with the uh, charger powered off, then hold down the, the menu button and then plug in power. And when I do that, I get a beep. The screen does not power up and it just keeps beeping. That means it's ready to be flashed. Then we're gonna open Shh-tifu. No. Well, it booted up. I'm not sure, maybe there's a window and you have to do it within a certain amount of time. Let's try again. So let's get it ready to flash. I'm gonna hit open. I'm gonna go to downloads and I'm gonna find, go into that Hoda S6 folder that I downloaded and grab that firmware. We are now ready to go. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna hold down the button with the USB plugged in. We're gonna power it up. And then while it's beeping, we're gonna say update. Yes, it's working. It's updating the firmware. And once that's done, you will be able to long press the jog wheel and go to system parameters and you will see that continuous mode is enabled. The other thing you need to be aware of is there are some potential safety implications here, but I think they're pretty minor. You see, if you were to unplug a battery, like a 6S battery, and then plug in like a 4S battery, the charger would be like, oh no, this isn't right, stop this nonsense. It won't actually start the charge until you plug in both the main lead and the balance lead. So it's gonna know if you like mess up the cell count. But it might not know, in fact, it couldn't know if you messed up the milliamp hours. So let's, let's imagine that you're charging a gigantic 
6S battery, a 5,000 milliamp hour 6S battery, and you're running this charger at 15 amps or whatever the maximum it'll do, because that battery can take it. And then you somehow unplug that battery and you plug in like a little teeny battery that can't take 15 amps. Well, it's just gonna keep running the same charge cycle you had it running on, on whatever battery you plug in, as long as the cell count is right. So you will need to be aware of that and you know, don't do your call. If you don't feel safe using the feature, then don't use it. Do you see that there are still scorch marks on this charger from when I overcharged a battery to make it blow up just to demonstrate how bad a lipo fire could be? This is that very charger and it is still going strong. And that's why I'm so excited that this feature is finally available on HobbyMate and Hoda chargers because Toolkit RC, full credit for coming up with this feature, good for you, but you, I have blown up two Toolkit RC chargers in the last three weeks. Doing silly things with them like blowing up batteries, but they didn't survive and my hobby mates have been absolutely bulletproof. I gotta take a second and say thank you to the very, very generous people who make it possible for me to buy those Toolkit RC chargers and test them out and blow them up. Uh, my patrons, uh, my patrons support me with a small monthly contribution every month. It could be as little as $2 a month and it's the single best way for you to say thank you for the content that you're getting here on this channel. I give away all the content that I make for free. I don't put hardly any of it behind a paywall uh, and my hope is that eventually the day will come when you go, dang, this Bardwell guy's given me a lot. I feel like it's time to give something back. If today's not that day, that's cool. I'm just gonna keep giving you stuff and hope that the day comes. It works out, it's working out pretty well for me so far. But if today is that day for you, there's a link in the video description to my Patreon, and I would love to have you as a supporter. As little as $2 a month, more if you feel like I've earned it. You can stop whenever you feel like it. Meanwhile, check out this video uh, review of the Hobbymate S6 charger. It is a fantastic charger, maybe a little too much charger for some people. And check out that LiPo safety video where I blew up a battery. You can see what kind of abuse uh, this guy took and is still rocking. I'll see you there.